drinking is about podcasting and giving knowledge behind some of the stuff that we talk about. Uh, and we talk about some of everything. You feel me? So today, we networking and trying to work with some of everybody that's out of the ATL doing stuff. You know, you can see some of this artwork. Great stuff. some type of solution. So when you tune in into the Kanye Boys podcast, you'll understand and get a better feel for us. Because it's comedy, it's drama, it's satire, it's arguments, it's friendship, all that. That's that's what I see when I um, watch the Kanye Boys podcast, because a lot of times we don't agree. But it's a great podcast overall, you know what I mean? Me being comedian Fredo Davis, Kanye Boy Fredo, I bring to the table is a, a sharp sense of humor, and um, I've been through a lot in life, so I bring a lot of, um, you know, a lot of painful point of view sometimes, or some, I say some harsh shit, but um, sometimes I'm apologetic, sometimes I'm not apologetic, but at the end of the day, we're going to bring it all together, because it's Kanye Boys Podcast. I think it's a great podcast that people should tune in, you know, and we're on our second season, a lot of people just catching on now, so uh, me being a, a mastermind and helping thinking and creating content for the show, I take us out of that box before we get too comfortable. You feel me? Like we shoot in the studio, but I was like, Atlanta, beautiful place, so we need to go see the whole Atlanta and shoot and, and talk to people and get to know people, you know? And therefore, you're gonna see a lot from the Kanye Boys podcast, so make sure y'all stay tuned and follow us, you know what I mean? We're doing a lot. Mississippi boy. I'm a cognac boy. I'm representing from the 90s and the knowledge that we need to know in America right now. Right here, you can clearly see we're around one of the things in the 90s, the gold one, the four fingers, the style of the 90s. We can't forget that's the best era of life. What I represent is cool, the fresh lifestyle. You want to be smoother than me? Try me. We talk about all types of questions. I teach you relationship goals. I teach you about our history about slavery. I teach you our history about eating good foods for your body, you know what I'm saying? Alkaline water, talking about all the things that's healthy for us. Me as a cognac boy, I am the knowledgeable brother. You know, almost like a soul brother, you know what I'm saying? Steering you the right way. If you want to find out, hit me up on my Instagram, Mississippi Boy 2383. I bring to the cognac boys, it's a guy from Mississippi, the southern type, you know what I'm saying? Telling you that you can have a big break anytime that you want to. Showing that if you keep working at what you're trying to accomplish, you can surprise a lot of people in this country. Always stay focused. Always don't never be surprised what somebody can do. You know what I'm saying? All you gotta take, all it takes is three strong brothers to come together and show you a different type of way. Come yet, you know what I'm saying? We sip more than come yet, we sip knowledge. We sip so many experiences that we can show you right now. Waiting for your questions. My style is a cognac boy is mostly sell appeal to marketing, Tell, teaching us mostly about the 90s, teaching us mostly about what's going on in our history, what we have to know about each other's back. Telling each other about how we set up investments for ourselves, stuff that the world don't want you to know about. Uplifting black people, that's my style. And don't forget our YouTube page, Cognac Boys, Podcasts, tune in. They look like superheroes, huh? I mean, that is. That's basically that's Professor X off the X Men, who was who was trying to, uh, you know, bring uh, peace with, between everybody, right? Okay. Then you got Malcolm X, who's Magneto, any means necessary. So the dude Stan Lee made those two characters behind Martin Luther King and Malcolm X. They're the two powerful brothers, but both of them, both of them was both powerful. You got Professor X, who's a mutant. You know what I'm saying? They got Magneto, he was also a mutant. And the humans was the ones who oppressed them, which the white man is the one who oppressed us. So Dr. King was was trying to work with the white man and, and Malcolm X was, wasn't having that shit. Like, fuck the motherfucker. You know what I mean? 
any means necessary. They hit me, I hit their ass back. Professor X is like, no, continue to save them, you know what I'm saying? And things will get better, you get what I mean? So, you know, this is some fine art of, of oppression. You know what I mean? Fine art of oppression, man. You know, Malcolm X, I'm not saying Malcolm X was, uh, you know, he just knew who, his, who the enemy was. Martin Luther King wanted us to all live in harmony and all that. You get what I'm saying? He wanted us to, uh, you know, uh, you know that I have a dream that everybody's sitting at the table together and all that. Now for next is on some shit like, hey, you slap me, I slap you back. You know what I'm saying? Don't fuck with me, don't fuck with you. You know, and every every black person, uh, you know, deserves to live. You know, like people want to talk about who country this is and who country this ain't. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, I was born here. My birth certificate say so, yours was. So at the end of the day, I should be able to live like anybody else that lived here. You know what I mean? Generation down the line, we still treated like we ain't shit. You get what I'm saying? Still treated like we ain't shit. So I really felt, you know, Malcolm X's point of view, you know, on some things. You know, Martin Luther King, uh, whole point of view never worked. You know what I mean? And I see where he was coming from, but it never worked. You know what I mean? It never worked, and it don't work even today. You know, when you when you bow your head, you know, and, and try to, you know, get along with your oppressors, it never comes out right. All right I'm Kanye Boy, Ron Manley, and uh, you know, what I bring to the Kanye Boys is, you know, consciousness, you know, awareness, you know, uh, rebel, you know, rebelness, you know, uh, edgy, you know, also, you know, funny, uh, talented, you know, what I'm saying, you name it, man, I can do it. You know, there's really nothing that I can't do. You know, and uh, basically, you know, with the whole podcast, whatever, man, we reach, you know, people across across the world or whatever. People across the world can hear our, hear our point of views. So, you know, that's what I aim at, you know, uh, on the podcast. You know what I'm saying? It's like a brotherhood or whatever. It's like, I ain't going to say the Three Stooges because, you know, we, we, we just out here, you know, trying to, uh, you know, have a voice, you know, when... when when, when black men have a voice, you know what I mean, like, we can get our point of view across much better than, you know, just standing on the block, just talking shit or at the barbershop or something like that, you know what I mean, on a podcast, we can go, you know, across overseas, you know, but now people overseas be seeing the Kanye boys, you know what I mean, we can mess around and, and link up with some politicians and, and, and have a, a glass of Kanye and talk about how we can change some, some laws just like Meek Mills, you feel me? Any voice, any voice coming from us as a people, man, is a good voice. So that's why, you know what I mean, that's what I bring to the table, you know. Man, people should watch the Kanye Voice podcast because, you know, where else you gonna get advice like we get, you know. We give uh, the best advice, you know what I'm saying. If, if you want if you want any type of uh, advice, you're gonna get it, whether it's right or wrong. You get the best wrong advice and you get the best right advice from Kanye Voice. should watch the Kanye boys because, you know, uh, one thing about the Kanye boys is we're going to be real with you, you know what I mean? We're going we gonna to tell y'all some real stuff and it's going to be real entertaining at the same time. You got three comedians, three different types of comedians, you know, doing the podcast, you know what I mean? On different levels, you know, every level, man, but we can't try to take this thing to the top level, you know what I mean? So this right here has never been done, you know what I mean? Like, ain't none of us... Uh, you know, got Steve Harvey show or nothing like that. You know, this is from the ground. This is from, from the dirt, you know what I mean? I want y'all to stay tuned, rock with us. Pay attention to what we're doing, because we're all over the city with it. So when you see Kanye Boy, uh, anywhere in the city, you want to talk to us, got some questions, you got some stuff on your mind, to talk to the Kanye Boys, make sure you hit us up. www.kanyeboys.com. Check out our website. Um, latest interviews uh, with some of them Instagram supermodels. Some of the best comedians in the city. Make sure y'all tune in. Check out the Kanye Boys.